you're all well. So today we're going to decorate a sequin cushion. And we're actually going to make a stencil to be able to do this. Now, the best way to do this is a sublimation, but I haven't got the tools for sublimation, and a lot of people haven't. So we're actually be going to using a Cricut stencil vinyl and some Sharpie pens. But the first thing we need is a SVG, and this is a Etsy shop SVG craze. And I love the designs in here. They are so beautiful. There are some absolutely gorgeous ones. And I just think they're really special. Oh, look at that owl. That is really lovely. There is a gorgeous cardinal in here, and I will use it for a video. And I just think some of these designs are just beautiful as I say they're just beautiful but I'm going to use this giraffe today I really really like this giraffe so we're going to go and import that in design space and if you don't know how to do that please do go look at our previous video on that so I'm in design space and I've got my giraffe now you can see it's multi-layered now normally I would cut all my layers out separately but because I'm doing a stencil and they don't really overlap I'm just going to go ahead and weld them and this will then become one and it will just make it easier in terms of the stenciling and I'm just going to chop and change my pen colour so it's not going to make it difficult at all so we're going to go to make it and you can see that I need to cut it out on a 12 by 24 mat which is absolutely fine and we're going to go to continue I'm going to select my maker today and if we go down to vinyl you'll find stencil vinyl there and that is the Cricut stencil vinyl which is what we're using today so I'm just going to click on that and I can then go and cut my design out so I've put my Cricut stencil vinyl onto my mat and then I'm just going to feed it through <laughs> can then start cutting. So you can see I've got my stencil cut out. Now the difference with stencil vinyl is rather than weeding away the negative you're actually going to weed away your design. So you're just going to come in and you're going to start taking out the pieces that you would normally apply to your product. With stenciling it's the other way around. You're not going to weed away the negative, you're actually going to weed away your design. So I'm going to carry on weeding all this out. So you can see that I've weeded out my design and I've got my transfer tape here so I'm just going to come in and place it over. So I'm just going to transfer it the way you would anyway, so I'm just going to smooth it on this side first and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the exact same thing and as I say you're just transferring it the way you would with normal vinyl. There's no difference in this step whatsoever. I'm then just going to remove my backing and as always, if any comes up, you're just going to smooth it back down and then gently peel away. So that's now all transferred. So I've got my double-sided cushion cover here and as you can see, it's white one side and then rose gold the other. And it's actually super, super pretty. And I just got these off eBay, I will link to them. And I need to decide, okay, so I want my design on my white side. So I'm just going to push all my sequins down. Now you may find that you end up with the old one that's been sewn on in the wrong direction. That's okay. I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It is what it is, but it's only the odd couple. So you want to have your everything facing the way your sequins does. So my sequins are facing down this way. So everything wants to move in that direction. So I'm going to bring my stencil vinyl over and I'm going to work out where I want it placed and I'm then going to place it down. 
I can then go in with my scraper and again I am still going to scrape in the direction my sequins are and I'm just going to start really smoothing that down. I'm then going to start removing my transfer tape and again I'm going to remove it in the direction of my sequins because I don't actually want to pull any of these sequins up. It's just going to make life really, really difficult. Now you are going to have to go quite slow with this. So just take your time. with my scraper and just make sure that my stencil vinyl is as secure as it can be and I don't want any lumps and bumps. Now it's slightly different because we're using pens so it's not, you're not going to get that bleed like you will with etching cream or paint for example but you still want it to be as adhered to your sequins as you can. Now obviously it's not going to you know be on there super strong and um, you know these are really slippery they're not meant to have this stuff on them so there is going to be a little bit of give there but if you just try and do your best to make sure that that is as secure as it can be it is going to make your life so much more easier so i am using sharpie permanent markers today this is a bronze metallic one and I've got lots of different colours and I am going to use different colours. Now again, you want it to go in the direction of your sequins. So you're just going to paint it on like you would if it was paint. And you want it to follow the direction of your sequins as I say. And I just take my time with this. I'm not in any rush with this. I find it quite therapeutic actually. So I'm just going to take my time and just slowly start colouring these in. It's a bit like a big colouring book. And I'm going to use a few different colours. Obviously you want to make sure it's a permanent pen. Um, I haven't tried washing these. I don't know how how long they'll last if you start washing them but to be honest they're a decoration so you know they'll last as long as they last but once the ink is dry they're not going anywhere as I say unless you put them in the washing machine I haven't washed them I would assume that the design will wash out I, I think that's just the way it will go um, but I can't be sure so as I say they are more a decoration than anything so you can see that I've now coloured in my stencil and as I said I've used permanent markers so I've got some metallic pens and I've got some sharpies and you just have to take your time with it, that's the key to it. Just take your time and try and get as much of the sequins as you can. So you want to leave them to dry which I've done and then I'm just going to gently start peeling back my stencil vinyl. Now you want to, again, do it in the direction of your sequins. And we're just going to very gently start peeling it back. Now if you want to, at this point, you can go in and recolour some of the areas. I'm going to do that. There's a few areas I want to define a bit more. And the stencil is just that, it's a stencil. There's nothing to stop you going back in and just defining it slightly better. So I'm going to go in, do some definition, and then I'm going to leave it to dry overnight. I really want to leave it to dry. So I think overnight's the best way for it to dry. And then in the morning, I can play with it. <laughs> 